Hi, I'm Susan Nutterwitz and this is letsfeelexcellent.com. So in this blog, I want to share with you what is a coach? Um, you know, this is becoming more popular, but it, it's a broad term and so it varies a lot. And a coach is someone that devotes specific time to you to help you with a problem that you otherwise felt powerless to change yourself. Well, so we'll also talk about the difference between that and a therapist and that and a, um, a friend or a family member that you talk to. So what a coach does is say you have, you know, we all have these times when we feel powerless and we uh, are suffering in that. We have these problems that just seem like we can't overcome them at all. And they're just the stairs to lead to the next plateau. I mean, this is the whole point of life is to have these problems and these challenges because they turn into our empowerment. They actually make us strong. And that's not just a cliche. So what a coach does is takes your problem and then like it's a trip and then writes you the map to your destination. So your destination is where the problem isn't a problem anymore. It's been transformed and when you get to the destination, you're just on vacation for a little while until you go to the next, vaca the next destination, right? So the coach actually goes with you on the trip, hopefully. You know, some people choose just to have uh, a, a little bit of help here and there, uh, but when the, when the coach can go with you on the trip, then it makes the empowerment so much more. Like I said, we all have these times where we just feel helpless and so many of us take these times and we say, oh, we have to, we can't be a crybaby, we have to be tough. And, uh, you know, those, those situations don't fully get understood. And so they get sort of stuffed into our subconscious and they become part of the fabric of our fears and limitations. So what are, is some criteria that I would look for in a coach? Well, the first thing a coach does, a good coach does, is understand the client's world. And that is, in this particular situation with what they want to change in their life or what they want to become more functional in their life, what, what are the details that the coach needs to, to know pertaining to that? I think this is vitally important and you might be saying, well, duh, yeah, I mean, the coach has to understand the problem. However, I've been on some coaching calls with some pretty big names, and there's a lot of strategies thrown around right away. However, I feel like on those calls, like I've been put into a box and like my certain situation really isn't understood because I would never do any of those things that they're suggesting. It just wouldn't work. So the coach can have all kinds of great strategies and all kinds of experiences. But the, again, this has to work for you. It has to work for the client. So understanding the um, client's world is the first and the most vital step. And the second the second step is um, the experience of the coach. So in the subject matter that you're wanting your change on, I feel that the coach should have some experience in that. Like I'm a health coach because that's what I'm most passionate about. So I help people raise the quality of, the, of their life by improving the functionality of their bodies and their minds. That, that's what I do. So when, you know, if somebody was to come to me and they wanted coaching on the stock market, I would refer them 
out to somebody else because I have no experience in that. Now, this said, I want to make a point that there's a lot of coaches that specialize in an area that they have several years of expertise in, like uh, raw food coaching. That's very typical in health coaching, that they have a certain expertise and there's nothing wrong with going with that coach if you resonate with them. There, there is nothing wrong at all. A coach can be any, anyone that can impart anything of value to you. However, as far as a health coach, I really feel that that uh, coach should be part of a health team if they're not a health care provider or they don't have significant knowledge of the anatomy and physiology of the body because um, there's certain things that people run into and this would be the reason why I would want health coaching and why I have sought health coaching in the past because when you have things come up if you are following just a certain diet it might not work for you in fact I don't feel that it's right to say well you know here's the diet this diet works for me and I'm going to be on it for the rest of my life because chemistry changes and we change and we evolve and um, you know so the the kind of food that you're eating or the kind of lifestyle that you have might not be the same forever it might not be the same for uh, as many years as it is for that coach and and that's very important consideration I think when you have a health coach, you want to know if the symptoms that are coming up for you are just symptoms of detoxification and they're par for the course, they're part of it, you, there's things that you have to go through, or they are something that you really need to get medical attention on. That is really important to understand. It's important to know, um, okay, you know, I'm eating a certain way, but is it really working for me? Is it really making me more healthy? Or is it depriving me of my health? Or is this thing is something just part of the building process? That, I think, is, is very important to know. And um, the next thing in a coach that I feel uh, is really important, I have my notes. I'm not really a public speaker, so... I, I have to refer to my notes because I forget things all the time. Okay. Okay, so um, just elaborating on, on the uh, health coaching and the physiology and anatomy of the body, um, we, we get into, when we start looking at diet, the biggest thing is... Uh, that comes up is cravings you know what is our our psycho-emotional attachment to the food and the thing is you know when you need a coach when you have a pattern a certain bunch of habits that you're doing over and over that's keeping you from your goals it's really good to have a coach to be able to establish that pattern and let let you be aware of that pattern and so the coach can also break the pattern at strategic times and then guide you into a more functional pattern so those things don't have to be habits anymore again we're taking the problem and making it not a problem any anymore so that's another thing a health coach can be really valuable for Okay, so I also feel that if you're going to work with a coach on any subject, they should know about psychology. I personally think this is vitally important because 80% of everything that we do is our psychology, at least 80%. It's the why you do what you do. 
Why did you pick up a cookie today, but you didn't do it yesterday? Why do you feel like having a salad today for lunch, but you don't feel like having it every day? So the why is, is really important, and you're going to see that with letsfeelexcellent.com and the uh, five things that emotional our emotions and what we choose as emotions can actually set up the physiology of our body. It can actually change the chemistry of our body. So it can make, uh, make your, your goal easier or it can make it impossible. I feel um, that it's really important that the coach knows about something about psychology and that you resonate with that way that they have of dealing with your psychology. Okay, so I think that um, a health coach needs to put things, your problem into solvable terms. As I have explained on many blogs, a lot of us just give up on our goals because we just can't see a solution and we get tired of looking for the solution. So the coach before they strategize with you I feel that they should put things in solvable terms and that can just make you feel really relaxed and it makes sense of all the quagmire out there I mean just look at health in general all the foods this food is good and no that food is bad you know there's contradictions all over the place there's supplements popping up every single day and well, I, my doctor said it's I need a medication. Do I really need the medication? Do I really need the operation? What, what's the answers? What's the answers? It can get very confusing. So uh, a coach should be able to put things into solvable terms for you. So what I do is I look at all of your details and as many as I have. And then um, I write an assessment for you. And I make sure that um, I, I do understand your world. I ask you. And um, I make sure all of these points are covered. And then I can give you creative alternatives and emotional resources to make you want to change. That is really important. Because if you don't want to change and you're just doing it with willpower, it's going to feel awful and it's going to be very short-lived. You want to want a healthy lifestyle. You want to be able to make these changes. And you have to have the emotional resources so that when your storms come in, you can just have your umbrella or have your raincoat or or have your house to, to be in, and it's not a big deal. So that is also really important. So it's not brainwashing. There's no hypnosis involved or anything. It's just a matter of reframing things so that you can make the choices that are more functional for you in your life. The next one is to condition your new decision so it's a permanent change. And you, you want it to be permanent. So some people coach with the same coach long term and there's nothing wrong with it, but they're always working on new things. They're growing. They're always, always working on new things. Um, any coach or therapist for that matter that isn't recognizing that they're working on new things and um, doesn't see the, the client progressing and just keeps them as a client um, is not really serving the client in my opinion. So a lot happens in every coaching session, a lot happens in every month, but um, you want to uh, be able to, the whole point of it is to stand on your own to and become strong and in the thing that you felt powerless before so um, you want those changes to become permanent 
And then the last thing is to help you relate to your life changes and to everything you really want in life so that your decisions last and improve every aspect of your life. That last part, improve every aspect of your life, is really important. So um, because let's take the example of food addiction um, and let's say the client has come to me with some pain in, in a certain joint or something like that. So let's say knee pain. They have knee pain and um, we've worked on the tissue manually and then they say, well, it, it keeps coming back. Do you think I should, um, you know, have the surgery my doctor is telling you about? Well, maybe, maybe you should have the surgery, but also uh, let's work on the acid that's in that knee. Um, and maybe the extra weight that's on top of the knee too. And we run into uh, another issue, which is maybe the person's food addiction. So let's just paint this example since it's, it's really common. It might not be yours. You can put in um, your own personal subject matter, whatever it, whatever it is. But let's just take this example. And the person has food addiction. So we start to coach on it. And when the person is reaching for food to fulfill themselves inside, what they're doing is they're connecting with themselves. And when that problem becomes in actually an empowerment for every aspect of their lives, then they can take that, that practice that they've had of connection, which is giving, which is love, which is any of those really feel good emotions, and they can start to go out with it. And it's not a big deal. It's not like the person has to become uh, anything that they don't want to become because now this giving, this loving just radiates from them and it just makes their whole life more, cooper more uh, a, in a cooperative manner. But people really do would recognize it. And that's just one example and like I said you could place your own examples in there. And I, I'm not sure what else to, to tell you uh, about uh, coaching except that you can you can try it and see if it doesn't make some improvements in your life. You see if it doesn't make your life more interesting. If anything, it's, it's more interesting. See if you can't use it in any way. So that's my vlog on what is a coach and um, just post your comments down below here if you're on YouTube or Vimeo and um, let me know what your experience, if you have any experience with health coaching is. I'm Susan Nutowitz and I thank you for joining me. Aloha.